Channel 2, WBBM-TV, Chicago. Walter Jacobson, Don Craig, John Coughlin, and Johnny Morris with Chicago's number one news. Channel 2, the 10 o'clock news. Good evening. President Reagan tonight is mulling over a new proposal to send more U.S. military advisors to El Salvador. That word came this afternoon as the president flew to Los Angeles. A senior White House aide told reporters that the president has ordered a full-scale review of American policy in Central America. It comes on the heels of a new powerful offensive by left-wing guerrillas there. The recommendations include enlarging the force of 38 American military advisors in El Salvador and perhaps expanding their role. But the official says that even if the president approves the plan, it would only include a handful of soldiers, and they would be barred from taking part in combat. Before leaving for California, the president called for an increase of $60 million in military aid to El Salvador as well. He made that request during a meeting with the leaders of the Congress at the White House. They said the president appealed for a bipartisan effort to strengthen the government of El Salvador, which he said will have trouble surviving without more aid. Reagan said the Army of El Salvador is poorly trained and is not being aggressive in fighting the Civil War. His aides say the money is needed to buy rifles, ammunition, and spare parts for helicopters. While on Capitol Hill, George Shultz, the Secretary of State, also lobbied for more aid. The emergence of another country added to Cuba, Grenada, Nicaragua, uh, another country, and then perhaps others, to uh, Soviet Cuban influence is bad news for this country. The country that Schultz and other officials are worried about the most is Mexico, which already is reeling under a huge financial debt. And if oil prices fall much more in the near future, Mexico could go bankrupt. Several OPEC oil ministers met in Paris today to try to head off a price war. They're trying to stop some countries in the Middle East from going through with a threat to slash the price of oil. The prospect of lower prices has sent the price of gold plunging. In New York and around the world, the threat of lower prices has created a stampede to sell gold. Prices have been dropping for more than a month. Today, the price of gold fell more than $42 an ounce, the biggest one-day drop in three years. A former Green Beret with ties to Hollywood and Soldier of Fortune magazine says tonight that he has evidence that American GIs are being held in communist Laos, but he won't say what that evidence is. James Bo Greitz turned himself in at a police station in Thailand today. He's accused of slipping into Laos illegally. But officially, he's only being charged with illegal possession of a high-powered radio transmitter. He says he's leading a private mission to find the GIs because somebody has to do something. The end results must be a political negotiation to get all MIA's POWs back. But it takes something to break the log jam. There's got to be a, a catalyst there in the equation somewhere. Last week, the Los Angeles Times reported that President Reagan was told of Greit's mission in advance by the movie star Clint Eastwood. Eastwood reportedly helped pay for the mission. The newspaper said that Reagan decided not to get the U.S. government involved. In Las Vegas, it has been a tense 12 hours following the discovery of time bombs planted at three resort hotels. Police evacuated more than 700 guests at the Stardust, Desert Inn, and Frontier Hotels after being tipped about the bombs. When they found them, authorities took the bombs into the desert and blew them up. Police say the bombs were all made by the same person. None of the hotels received extortion demands, but all the hotels along the Vegas Strip are on alert tonight. The Chicago Board of Election Commissioners has released the results of the official canvas of votes cast in last week's election. As expected, the official tally shows Harold Washington with 36.5% of the votes in the Democratic primary, 